Hey guys, what is up? My name is Allison and welcome to my channel. So, in my last video, I was saying that my son is being bullied at school. He he is dealing with a lot of things. Of course, he's ADHD. Um, he's dealing with epilepsy and he's also on a spectrum of autistic and we're getting lots of help from his doctors and I say doctors because there we had to go to several different kind of doctors to help us um, and I guess like because of all that he's being picked on at school there's this boy in his class that said um, nobody is your friend. Why would you say that to somebody? My son has two girls who are his friend, and then I don't know where one of them starts telling my son that he is stupid. What the hell? Then we try to go to um, the principal, assistant principal. They are no help. They are no help at all. Out of all the teachers that my son had, his recent teacher, she's been a big, big help. She sees things what me and my mom sees. She noticed things what me and my mom noticed. She's been a lot more helpful than anybody else. His, his principal and the assistant principal, they both have no communication with each other. Because one of them is telling us one thing and the other one is telling us another thing. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And I'm not the only one because uh, there's a mom who used to take her son to uh, the school for privacy reasons. I can't even talk straight or think straight. For privacy reason, I'm not going to say what school this is. But um, there's this one mom that I knew. Her son is autistic. Um, and she was also telling me today how, like, she is unhappy with this school. The principal, the assistant principal, last year, because my son and her son went to this, uh, were in the same class. Uh, last year... Our kids had to go through many different teachers because, like, the first one quit. Then I don't know what happened to the uh, second one. The third one left. And the last one, um, she quit at the end of the school year. I mean, she stayed for the kids that need help. But she quit when school was over because uh, the school... Just no communication. According to her, everything that they are doing is wrong. So I don't even know why I'm sending my son to this school in the first place. I am the kind of mom that likes to dress my son up in like what I think is cute, stylish, matchy outfits that a boy would wear. Apparently, kids at school is getting, is like literally picking on blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh. Apparently, I can't talk. <laughs> but apparently, kids at school is picking on him for clothes that he wears. So now I need to be careful what kind of clothes he is wearing. What? I know a mom who lives out in Orlando who takes her kid out. I think her kid is like the same age as my son, but she lets her kids uh, go to store in their PJs and everybody thought that was adorable because they're kids. They are kids. Uh, first grader kids are so mean. I mean, like, I'm like wondering where are they learning all this stuff? Are their parents teaching them bad manners? Are their parents teaching them how to bully other people? I guess like this one kid in my um, in my son's class um, is having some 
issues going on at home, so he decides to bring that to school and bully my son. When I was in high school, yeah, I was, I was new at the school. Um, at first, I had friends. I don't know what happened. They told me um, that I pulled away from them, but I feel like they pulled away from me, so I don't know what the hell. Um, but the only thing that's been saving my life is dating guys that I uh, was on a football team. <laughs> I am not joking. The entire time when I was at that school, um, I tried to date guys that I like, but mostly I was dating guys who was like on the football team because I never get picked on. Nobody ever messes with me when I'm dating a guy on a football team because when I'm not dating anybody on a football team, I get bullied. People are bullying me. I actually um, was walking through a hallway and someone was throwing a toilet paper at me. They were throwing trash at me. So, yeah, I wasn't popular in high school. <laughs> but also, everybody, everybody was also making fun of me because I was friends with um, other students that has, like, really, really special needs. And what... Why would anybody be mean to somebody that wants to be friends with everybody, no matter of like their disability and stuff like that? Why? I just don't get it. I don't understand it. My son's dad, <laughs> he has learning disability, but sometimes his parents doesn't want to admit to it. ADHD, they'll, they admit to that ADHD, ADD, um, help possibly autistic like probably on a spectrum I don't know but um I guess like the way he acts around his parents around his friends nobody can notice that it, it is kind of hard to tell um if someone is on a spectrum of autistic but growing up I was actually on a spectrum of autistic so like I said, his parents doesn't want to admit to anything like that. Um, they just say they just say stuff like, "Oh, he's fine. He's completely fine. That he may look fine, but there is a problem, and you just don't see it or don't want to admit to it." He follows. <laughs> he doesn't follow what he wants to do. He follows what other people tells him to do. Hell, he stopped dating me in high school because. All his friends on the football team told him not to date me, um, never to date me, don't be friends with me. And then uh, I guess like after we broke up, his friends told him to date this girl. She's fun or whatever. Apparently I'm not fun. Um, <laughs> um I, I know I'm saying I'm a lot because I'm trying to remember everything, but yeah. So after high school, he tried to contact me. I guess like he's finally no longer like friends with those people that tells him what to do or who to hang out with. He contacted me. We got back together. After... Um, a year or a few months or whatever. I can't remember how long because it's been so long. But, um, I think it was like six months into dating. Um, I'm saying I'm again. What the hell? Apparently after like, uh, I think like six months, I find out I was pregnant. A few months later, everything changes. He started to like... Forget everything that we've talked about and started listening to his parents. I wanted to move, like I told you guys in the um, two videos ago, I wanted to move to Florida and start over on our life. He wanted that too, but his mom and dad hated that idea. She refused to let me in the house, especially when it was raining outside. 
I was not allowed in the house. And I was like probably six months pregnant, five to six months pregnant. The rest of my pregnancy after that was hell. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be talking about uh, my son being bullied. And yet I'm talking about how I was being bullied by my son's dad and his family. Well, not his family's but I mean like his, uh, my son's dad and uh, his parents. The grandparents, the brothers, uh, the aunt and uncle, they never bullied me at all. They've always been so nice and kind to me. It's just my son's dad and his parents. But yeah, my mom was telling me a few days ago, because we were watching a show called Maid. She was telling me a few days ago that she would sit sit outside my door, and this was when I was pregnant. She would sit outside my door, listening to me on the phone with my son's dad and his parents, and I guess I had them on speaker. They all took turn yelling at me. I There's a lot of things that I blocked out from my past. And then some things comes up and my mom tells me stuff that she remembers doing, like sitting outside my door while I am on the phone with them, uh, listening to them yelling at me. I know they would not admit it at all because they want to look like the good Christians that they claim to be. I, I'm i still trying to figure things out with my son, how to keep him safe. I don't want my kid to be bullied by somebody who is probably having a rough time at their own house. So, I think I'm done here. Um, I want to stop talking about this now before I start crying. Uh... <laughs> But thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, please comment down below. Let me know if, like, if you guys ever uh, been bullied in high school or wherever. High school, work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, thank you guys so much for listening. And I guess I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye.